Are you a filmmaker entrepreneur? Still trying to figure out how to distribute your film or how to navigate the film industry? This video will teach you how to brand yourself better with Instagram. To do that, we're going to continue learning about this popular photo video sharing app. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. A quick refresher. Instagram has over 600 million users today. Instagram also claims that over half of those users use the app every single day, and that is over 300 million people every single day. I've spoken many times about Instagram, and 2017 is going to be a big player for a lot of these videos on how to brand yourself. The reason why is because you can get 10 times as much engagement on Instagram right now than what you would get on maybe something like Facebook or Twitter. Now, it seems like a lot of these practices take a lot of time. So to use the popular app effectively, you need to schedule yourself, you need to post, you need to edit, you need to engage, you need to like, you need to follow, you need to unfollow. But what can you do to be smart about these strategies and smart about your time? Let's continue learning about the nine time-saving marketing tips for Instagram for your filmmaking brand right now. Schedule a time to engage with your audience. We've learned about batching in the past and it's a technique used to maximize concentration and increase productivity. The reason why batching is so good is because you can get a lot of tasks done at one city or at one time. The reason why you want to do this with your engagement is because you don't want to be at the mercy of notifications for Instagram. That can take a lot of time. Instead of doing that, schedule a time where you're going to sit down, engage with your audience in one sitting for a specific amount of time. Here is some really good advice I read from a professor at Georgetown. All work must be done in blocks of at least 30 minutes. If I start editing a paper, for example, I have to spend at least 30 minutes editing. If I need to complete a small task, like handing in a form, I have to spend at least 30 minutes doing small tasks. Crucially, checking email and looking up information online count as small tasks. If I need to check my inbox or grab a quick stat from the web, I have to spend at least 30 minutes dedicated to similarly smart diversions. Some practical things you can do is first of all, turn off notifications and then schedule 30 minutes of your time every single day to engage with your audience. Prepare commonly used hashtags in the past. Okay, studies have shown that if you post something on Instagram and you have nine hashtags or more, you're likely to get more engagement than if you would with less hashtags. You wanna search the hashtags that are the most popular in your industry or in your niche. You don't wanna look for these hashtags every time you're going to post. So instead, plan your hashtags ahead of time. Save them in an app such as Notes and then copy and paste the hashtags after you post your picture or video. You can add more hashtags that are more relevant to the post you're currently loading in that moment. But you already have at least nine or more hashtags that are lined up ready to go. Use the same filter or editing style. You want your brand to be consistent. You want your page or you want your profile to be consistent. You want it to look the same. You want some of your photos to have a similar style. Now, if you prefer to use mobile for editing, apps like VSEO or even Instagram allow you to save edits and then use them for a later post. The last one, and I think one of the most important ones, is repurpose your posts across all social media platforms. Gary Vaynerchuk is someone who I follow religiously. And the reason why is because he has a lot of insight and he shares a lot of valuable content. This is one of the things he shared recently. When he produces a video or an audio piece, he doesn't only share it as a one piece of content, but then he spreads it out to several pieces of content coming from one specific source. This is how Gary works with his team. When he makes a video, he uses that video to produce three or four more long form pieces of articles for his blog. Then he uses that content to generate 30 to 40 social media posts. That is a lot of content coming from one video. The concept here is that a video on YouTube or Facebook can turn into multimedia content for multiple platforms. It's genius and I use it every single week. So that's it, I hope this helped you. If you didn't catch the first part of this video, I'm going to link it below. But let me know if you have any tips on how to effectively and efficiently market yourself on Instagram in the comments below. We're continuing to navigate what it means to tell our story and reach the masses. Join me in this journey to learn the power of storytelling to drive the success, growth, and influence of our films. See you next week.